I don't know if you saw this data, which was interesting to me. I was reading this article about uh, women outliving men. We all know that. <laughs> but also they're retiring earlier and they shouldn't. Listen to this. Uh, retired women are 80% more likely to live in poverty than men. <laughs> that's right. So that's almost twice as much in poverty as men. So older women are more likely to be almost like uh, 80%, which is almost like 100%. 100% is twice as many, right? <laughs> and and that's, that's the data out there. So, I mean, it, it is certainly getting the short end of the stick. And, and if you're really looking for wealth, a lot of the wealth you know, the millionaires in this country typically are from, you know, the big professions like doctors and lawyers. And, and then there's entrepreneurs. And, and there's some interesting data on entrepreneurs. Look at this over here. This is data from the Women's uh, Entrepreneur Association that, that talks about women entrepreneurs. And it's a couple of years old, but it's still very relevant. And it's broken down by age. And if you look at these charts here, this is, see the green on top and the blue. Okay, this is for people over 65, and how many are small business owners? Uh, and, and you see, like, there's twice as many blue as the green. So that's over there's twice as many women business entrepreneurs than there are men business. Now, you get down to 55 and 60, and it's sort of the same, probably a little less. Uh, and now here, the 45 to 55, it's getting a little smaller, the difference. So the women, uh, you know, probably about two thirds almost, it looks like. So maybe from a half to two thirds. You know. And now at 35 to 44, uh, it's getting closer to parity. It probably looks like 60% or 70%. But now look at this, 25 to 34 year olds. Now women, boy, they're catching up to men. It's almost, you know, they're, they're getting really close. But now even, 25 or under, look, it's parity almost. So as many women entrepreneurs under 25 as there are men. So that's, I think, where, where income at least is in this country. And I think it's becoming more and more because more of us are going to be independent workers, which are categorized as entrepreneurs nowadays because they're not working for a company. They're freelancers and stuff like that. So I think there'll be more ways to do this. Also, a very important thing, too, which I put in all my reports, uh, like the one-stop thing that, that you're looking for money, is how women can use crowdfunding. Now, crowdfunding to start a business and I talked to this in depth in business reports or, or, or in my uh, uh, one-stop reports for uh, getting money for anything from your, your, from your state. Crowdfunding, women are outperforming men in entrepreneur. In other words, uh, for a woman to get money for a business, they are more successful in using crowdfunding than men are. Okay, so why is that? Okay, uh, actually, Women are getting the short end of the stick if they go traditional, sort of like uh, venture capitalists and then, uh, investors like that, you know, Shark Tank people, all those people that give money, people start businesses. 90% of that money, 95% actually, uh, closer to that, goes to women. And because 95% of venture capitalists are guys. Guys, and guys are investing in other guys that can't relate to what the hell a woman's doing, you know? And so that's what they're getting shortchanged about business. So that's what you see in this graph here, the older women, you know, the, before crowdfunding and things like that, you know, there were fewer women because they didn't have access to money. I mean, I guess, I mean, that's maybe just one reason, but uh, certainly a significant reason. The younger people know crowdfunding and, and they're, hey, you know, they're outperforming men. So if you're a woman and getting money for your business through a crowdfunding platform, you're depending on the category, you're, you're getting every category women are getting more. And then some categories are getting double. Okay, why is that happening? <laughs> well, here's the reason. There's a big study by a professor at the University of Pennsylvania. Uh, and if you want more about it, I'll, I'll get you. And she analyzed the uh, crowdfunding data for women. And, and it really is, because of the source. See, what's neat about crowdfunding, it again eliminates gatekeepers. Now, this is what's interesting to me about the internet, whether it's peer-to-peer -peer or whatever. Uh, you know, you have before crowdfunding and peer-to-peer -peer stuff, 
there were gatekeepers. There's more and more gatekeepers. Like, you know, so the fat cats who are venture capitalists, they're a gatekeeper. But you go on the platform, no gatekeeper. You just say, hey, and see the people who invest on these platforms, they're almost half women. So it's half women, sort of like the population, right? So that's why it's crowds. It's not fat cats, <laughs> guy fat cats. You know? These are crowds doing it. So that's why they're investing in women. They relate to women. They invest in women. So that's why women are doing better, so much better, at starting their businesses using crowdfunding. And I wonder why that this, I wonder if this is why under 25, there are people more likely to know crowdfunding and not even know venture capital. That's old think. The new thing are things like crowdfunding. So young people do that, and now it's it's becoming more equal uh, because that's where the money from. See, the crowdfunding money doesn't come from fat cat people; it's just from people. Hey, we like your idea. Yeah, we'll give you a hundred bucks or five hundred or ten dollars or whatever it is because you have an interesting idea, you know, for a business. So that's why I think things are changing. So you know, the data now about women. You know, twice as many in poverty, you know, uh, that are uh, uh, older women, uh, that's going to change in the future. And actually, women born today live, outlive men about four years. So if you're born today and you're a woman uh, you, and a man is born today, women are going to outlive you uh, by four years. And actually, women are going to live about 87 years old. That's if you're born today. See, but if you're already 60 or 70, man, 87 is, is nothing. <laughs> the thing is getting through the first 50. <laughs> and once you get through that, then, then your chances of living longer are a hell of a lot better. So that's why me, I'm 75 now, so I, I got 90 easy, <laughs> maybe 95, maybe 100, who knows. And if I'm healthy, I don't mind. If I'm not healthy, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> who cares? Well, you want more of the stuff like that? Uh, the, the, I have a free download that shows you about this free stuff and starting businesses or, or for doing anything. And, and there's a sample so you don't get caught up in Google and only finding people that take your money to help you. I show you people that give you money to help you. And that's uh, uh, www.free dot lesco dot com and then five best so the number five and then all small letters b e s t okay thanks